Okay, UTV viewers, we are back, and I am sitting here with Phil in his 55 Chevy, and Phil is going to bring us another American Graffiti movie fact. Phil, tell our viewers your story. Couldn't wait for American Graffiti to come out, and it came out in the movie theater at the Stam on a Friday evening. We got there real early. I had a 50 Olds Coupe. My buddy had a 57 Chevy. Took our wives. We had no kids. We were just young married hot rodders. We're sitting there in the movie eating popcorn and the previews have gone. We've seen a cartoon. They used to actually show a cartoon in those days. And uh, here the movie starts. And I'm, I'm really starting to enjoy it. And uh, my buddy leans across his wife and he goes, oh no, Phil, you're going to kill me. He goes, no, you're really going to kill me, Phil. And he hands a business card across the wives to me, and I'm trying to read it in the movie that they're there in the dark, and, and it says George Lucas on it. And I, I said, George Lucas? Well, that, that was on the screen here a minute ago. He goes, that's right. He says, I was at, working for the phone company in Walnut Creek. I took my 48 olds down there, and I came out from this, uh, this lunch, uh, lunch shack there, and there's this guy out there, and he goes, hey, that's a nice old car. Do you know anybody else that has any old cars? He goes, yeah, why do you ask? He goes, well, we might be filming a movie up here in Northern California, and we could use some old cars. And Brian says, well, yeah, I know a bunch of guys. So he gives Brian the card. Brian puts the card in his, in his wallet. Long story short, I'm looking at this card. I go, where'd you get this card? He goes, and he tells me the story I just related to you. And I stood up and I said, yeah, I really think I am going to kill you. We could have had our cars in the movie American Graffiti? Wow! Now you tell me! <laughs> so do you believe in second chances, Phil? Well, you never know. There was actually a sequel to American Graffiti called More American Graffiti. And a lot of people still don't know that. And it talked about what those kids were all doing after they left the valley. More American Graffiti. If you haven't seen it, check it out. There you go, UTV viewers. Phil, we do appreciate your time here today, and um, hopefully next year, if we can get Lucas down here, we'll get you that second chance to get your car maybe in a new film. Wouldn't that be something? Right. I, I understand George has been here before, kind of incognito, and he really enjoys what he sees. Takes him right back to where he grew up in Modesto, California. There you go, yep. keeping it local, keeping it local. That's right, you know that's right. You know what they're gonna hand out in the 40th? They're going to hand out 40 ounces on the 40th anniversary here coming up. So everybody gets a 40. <laughs> For our younger viewers out there, seeing that this is a family show, <laughs> it's going to be a great show. So you're sitting back at home. Definitely, we do encourage you to come down here next year. Check these gentlemen out and their beautiful cars. I'll buy you a 40. <laughs> there you have Phil, appreciate your time today. Thank you. American Graffiti lives on 40 years later. Woo! Cruising the Boulevard.